Ubiquitous on every continent except Antarctica, Apis mellifera, or the European honeybee, is the most recognizable bee in the world. The only honeybee species found in the Americas, these charismatic producers of that sweet, sweet liquid gold are unique from native species of the western continents due to their social dynamics. European honeybees live in huge colonies with thousands of individuals working together for the survival and reproduction of the colony as a whole. The majority of bees in a colony are workers. They are all females who are sterile as a result of their larval diet. As bouncing baby bees inside their comb cells, they are fed royal jelly at first and are quickly switched to a pollen and nectar mash called bee bread. Pollen contains phytotoxins that stunt their ovaries. Along with the queen pheromone that dampens their reproductive drive, bee bread is super effective birth control. As a result, worker bees forego their own reproduction to assist their mother queen in raising more of their sisters. Ever heard the phrase busy as a bee? Workers ensure colony survival by doing all the non-reproductive jobs in the hive. As soon as they emerge as adults, they get right to work as janitor bees, cleaning out comb cells for the queen to lay eggs in. Then, as glands around their heads turn on, they become nurse bees secreting royal jelly, a nutrient-rich bee milk, to nurse the thousands and thousands of baby bees. Then they might hit the gym, perform countless hanging crunches to secrete beeswax and build beeswax comb, or they may ripen nectar into honey by blowing bubbles and fanning their wings to dehydrate the sugary substance. Just a taste though, never a gorge. And if it wasn't already taxing enough, Next come the really risky jobs closer to the dangerous outside world. They may wait for returning foragers at the entrance to transfer nectar or guard the hive from predators and robbing bees from other colonies. And the very oldest workers venture far beyond the Shire as foragers gathering nectar, pollen, plant resins, or maybe water as needed. After a series of orientation flights to get the lay of the land, a mature worker bee may travel a distance of up to three miles on tiny wings to gather these important resources. Fun fact! Honeybee workers have built-in chopping baskets on their back legs for carrying pollen. While foraging, they groom pollen grains off their hairy bodies with their comb-like front legs, and with a little sticky nectar, they stuff this pollen into their hind leg baskets. This allows them to carry heavier loads and visit more flowers before returning to the hive. Check out my girl MC Pollen and her signature pollen pants. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest buzz. And as always, be well.